Hey up, I'm Foo, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So, let's just enjoy the silence for the time being, just the hearing the wind whistle, because this may, I say this, I've said this many times before, but this may be the last episode, because now we have, whoop, that's a rhinoceros, yes, there's a rhinoceros on the map, no, that's not what we're looking at, we're looking at these guys over here. So we have two scythers and one centipede coming our way. And I'm not looking forward to it. Now they it does say sandstone wall here, sandstone wall and sandstone wall. So these guys are gonna come and attack us and I've got two people plus a fallen ship, which you know, just after we finished our first fallen ship we got this one, which is already at medium, so Rose might uh, start to feel the effects. Not too much because of some of her um, characteristics. And also the poison ship, which has been sitting here for 65.8 days. So it, it's been a while, and you know what? I don't think this is, you know, if, okay, if the scythers are coming, if the scythers and centipede, if the mechanoids, how about that? That's better. If the mechanoids are going to break down this wall, there's nothing I can do. If they decide to wander around and then disappear a while, I can deal with that. That is perfectly fine, and you know what? I'd be happier. All the happier if they do that. So let's see what happens. Um, so one thing I'm making sure is restrict them to the base. Because that is a safe zone for them to stand around. Which is where they are. Now we do want to recruit Pyra. But it may be too late with the psychic level already at medium. So whereabouts are these mechanoids? Hello. That was fast. You're attacking sandbags. Of course you're attacking sandbags. But where's the other side of this? The other scyther and the other... Ah. Thought that might be the case. <laughs> Please don't go through there. I want to keep that uh, still on my zone. How about this? We're going to build another wall of... Uh, I believe that sandstone at the top. It is. So it's going to be granite. That's granite? Yes, it's granite. Okay. It's going to be granite walls and that will... Yeah. Doing the granite wall. Can I... Yeah. Cancel this one. Because otherwise the person won't get in. Because I don't want the scyther breaking through. That's like one of the last things I want. We built this wall so people could stop breaking through. Not so we could encourage people breaking through. But where did this, the centipede go? Wow. Centipede's taking a time to um, get down. Uh, what's the other thing I can think of? Well, our power levels aren't consistently high enough. Especially overnight with only one wind turbine to put a turret down. You know what, I think it's going to be worth it. Um, it may be enough to save our beacon. You've always got to save bacon. It's our bacon. No one else's bacon. You can't take my bacon away from me. Once I find the turret. Turret, security. I'm looking at the wrong side of the map. Map. Looking at the wrong side of the menu. So you'd want it sort of roughly around the door level. I think that should be enough to get close to the zone, put it right up against the wall. And maybe one around this side, just it might be out of range in the bottom corner, but I'm hoping that's enough. So foo. Gotta work on this ASAP. I think it's too late. Oh, it is too late. Foo, where are you? Recruit. And you've got a club. Is that really all you're good for? Rose. Rose four. Yeah, that's a shame. Fu does have a 7, so maybe I can just get Fu to stand right here. Our sandbags are still inside, so we can still use them. So that may be something. So slow things back down. And unrecruit you. Restrict to area 1, which is inside. So Fu, can you shoot the scyther or not? Come on, it's right there. Thank you. Excellent. Now, you did take a direct hit, and I know that would have done a massive amount of damage, which is really stupid. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want you to lose your legs, so how about this? Foo, can you shoot one more time? Okay, now inside. Get inside, get inside. Ooh, close. And also, unrecruit. It's outside of area. Of course it's outside of area. I love it if you could just, um, if you tell someone to pick up something, even if it's outside an area, that they'd go and pick it up. So... Expand area one by one block. There we go. That's enough. Foo. Get this get the steel now out of the door. And that will stop people wandering in. Cool. 
Now we'll have to get you patched up. I don't believe Rose can patch, which is a shame. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Bad cyber. Stop attacking my stuff. Oh, well, that's another waste of resources. You know, at this rate, I might as well just haul, um, haul myself in. Haul myself in. Just so they can't attack us, because that is getting frustrating. Okay, well, let's see. Your health... Okay, so we won't lose your leg quite yet, but you are going to bed. No, what was I doing? Rose. Rose, can you patch Fu up? Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, doctor, bed rest, flick. Cool. Rose. Oh my god. Who are you doing? Who are you trying to attack? Okay, Rose, can we get you just to treat Fu now? Just at least get Fu patched up. Okay, you bash down that door. Okay, maybe it's a little micro... Oh my god. Why do you do this? How can you be so mean and evil? Where are you going? These AI, like, what is their end goal? Just to go around destroying everything? We don't have the materials to patch this up and destroying a sarcophagus? Sacrilege. Absolute sacrilege. How dare you, Scythers? I would run in their head first if I had more than two people. So I'm going to just let that be for the time being. And make sure Rose and food don't leave this room. Oh my god. I love how they've avoided the one door. Like, the two doors. Are, oh my god. Well, um... So... Yeah, um... Uh, 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 you're attacking... Okay, well we got electric, electric cremation, if that means anything anymore. Let's... Oh... No, 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 no. Oh... That was nearly enough. They nearly went through that door. That is shocking. Can I... Yeah, I'll forbid these two doors. Maybe that will be enough to stop them from going through. Does mean you're stuck in the room. I don't want to mine through there. Ah. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's go back to doing the research because that's one thing that they can do. Anything in here which could be useful to us? I like the idea of auto doors. Shame it doesn't actually help us. Mortars. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get mortars. I don't think... I mean, none of these are going to help us air right now. Uh, machining. Machining can get a, give us a few extra resources if we can get rid of these guys. You know what? I think I'm thinking too far ahead. Just set that. I don't know how long we're going to last. Oh my god. Hopefully these bodies don't... Um, What's the word? Not disintegrate. Yeah, disintegrate. Um, since they're inside. That's my hope. But what is it with your love of doors? And sarcophaguses. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? And and then just the corner door? Just What's up with that? Okay, here we are. This is what I was waiting around for. I, I knew eventually they were going to attack these doors. So Fu will put you front and centre. Rose will put you just in the corner here. Slow things down. I was hoping that they might disappear. But um, obviously not. Uh, and now this centipede's coming closer. Might have been alright if we had one. May have been able to deal with... Nope, centipede's going to that room. Okay, we might be able to deal with this either. Okay. And Fu. Fu, come on, you've got to hit this either. I can't do anything if you don't do anything. Do something now. What are you doing? Leave that poor light alone. I have to rebuild that. I'm going to rebuild a lot of things if I make it through this. Which got a feeling. I've been holding on by the skin of my teeth for quite a while now. I have a feeling this won't be the case for too much longer. But this side there is really having a um, hard time hitting Fu. Now, if this other does hit Fu, I will be grabbing Rose and. Um, Getting her to run. I oh, know. That's interesting. The Scyther is actually attacking Rose instead. Now, Rose was behind cover, which was kind of annoying. We'll just pull her a little bit further around. 
Doesn't mean that Fu will be in the firing line. Oh, that was one solid hit. You're about to break. And that was to the torso. So that was a 20 damage. You know what, Rose? Attack the side. Just go full head on. Do it. Yep, do this. Don't hit to Rose, please. We oh. Rose has been cut to death, that's right, because Scythers have blades. We don't have Rose anymore. That's expected. Foo. Hold out. Oh my god. Run. And you shot through the wall. Come on, that's a little cheating. I moved Foo faster than that. Oh my god. So how badly you hurt. So you will bleed out by the end of the day. Okay. And you're coming into the room now. Yep. Shoot the scyther, please. At least take down one scyther. Can you do that much for me? You did. Okay, that's one thing. All we need is someone to patch Fu up. And this still may be a thing. Now, where's this... Uh... Okay, you're this centipede going. So it's attacking the door to where Pyro is. So Pyro will be able to... We'll be able to escape. But to be honest, that's probably a good thing. Fu, can I get you to unrecruit and rest until healed? I don't think that's going to be enough to help with your two charge lance shots. But maybe you can just bleed quietly in bed. So, Pyra, this door is going to be broken down soon. You are free to run, you are free to leave the map. Under one condition. Stay alive, please. I'd feel better if everyone didn't die when they entered this colony. And last hit. Oh, one more hit. Pyra, you're free to run. That's fine with me, but seriously, you're not going to attack the prisoner. Thank you. Okay, so you did hit Pyra. I mean, I'd love it if Pyra could leave, but at least you're focusing on her instead. Just something. Well, ain't that a shame. You gonna follow Pyro now? Or are you just gonna wander around? You're going to attack the horseshoe pins. Well, at least it's outside. Guess that's something. So where are the other side there's now? Have they wandered off the map or have they disappeared? Uh, because we did defeat one here, so where's the other guy? Or mechanoid, I should say. Is it's more PC. One mechanoid there. Where's the other mechanoid? Come on. Has to be around the place here. Uh, don't spot it. I'm going on the assumption it's wandered off the map. And that will be good enough for me. So, centipede is down. But Fu is now too injured. Unless Fu patches herself up and the blood loss. Ah, there it is. There's the character. There's the mechanoid. There's the scyther. So yeah, Pyro will be dead very soon. Let's take a look at your health. Gunshots. Yep. Torso, spine, spine. There we go. Pyro is now down for the count. Oh, that's a shame. I might as well speed things along because there's nothing else I can do. Fu will bleed out. Yep. Oh, don't attack Whitaker's statues. Please, just leave. Starvation is at foo. It is. You're gonna attack. Yep. So they just go randomly around attacking things. Are you gonna eat the body? That's fine, I guess. It's not gonna be very pleasant. Go back to bed. You're gonna attack this door. Yeah, I guess you you're not hunting foo, so that's all right. You did just eat a raw body of a colonist. Were you friends at all with Rory's foo? Let's see. You had a well. By the looks of it, no. So it doesn't really mo matter. It's kind of a shame. You know, I love it how Fu's just managing to sleep through all this, and a quiet end is probably the best that we can give her at the moment. Yep, moderate, moderate blood loss. Yeah, Fu won't make it. And it's just going to watch the destruction of the comedy. Oh, wait a second. We're not letting that happen. At the very least, we can shoot down this scyther. If you can hit, hit it. Where are you going? You're going to attack that light bulb? Okay. Gotta say, whoever built um, these light bulbs did a very good job. Very sturdy light bulbs. I mean, you're attacking, you're, it's taking several hits. A centipede, of all things, to destroy 
a light bulb. And now this centipede enters the room. And this will be the end. Oh, actually, Fu. Um, okay, so it's attacking the steel dining chair. Fu could still get out of here. Uh, which doors haven't been broken yet? Well, those. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Fu, just tap at this. Just rest until healed. And do this. Don't actually run away as well, because there's no point of you running. You will die regardless. So, Fu, rest until healed. And if the centipede kills us, so be it. Aid of Corpse, War Cannibalism, Conless Unburied, Allies Death, Sanguine, My Rival Rose Died. So, actually, that's. Is it a positive that you ate your rival? I'm not sure. Gunshot Lance, 105%, blood loss is moderate. So, bleed rate means it's per day. So within a day you'd bleed out, it's less than a day you'd bleed out, so maybe you could survive if you could get into a bed. Um, how about this, if I mark, this is a medical bed, so can you actually run over here? Oh my god. Go on around the corner. Oh. So we actually managed to just walk right past a centipede and it didn't hit us. Okay, well, how about this? Rest in this bed until you're healed. Maybe we can still pull it out. I honestly don't think so because of the blood loss issue. Severe, yep, 64, 65. Psychic pulse, yep. Hello, who's this? Oh, we have friendlies. Group of friendlies have arrived. Well, that's something. And they're fleeing now, which is... Well, small consolation, I guess. Centipede's still going. And what's Phil up? Health-wise, it's 84% blood loss. It is severe. It's very unlikely that it will pull out. I guess this... Since the rate of blood loss is going down, it will take longer to get to a, a critical or extreme level of blood loss. But it's not going to be fast enough, unfortunately. Yep, there's extreme. Extreme is at 80%. We have an infection, which we can't do anything about, so, yeah. Ka Fu can't treat herself, unfortunately, and the friendlies are all dead. I think this will be the end. This is the final episode of the Town of Flint. Or the Township of Flint. Oh, wait a second. We have more friendlies. What? But we only had two people. Um. Well, you, you got rid of a scyther. Well done. Um. Fu is still going to die though. Can you patch Fu up? Nope. Okay, it doesn't look like it will. And um, Pyro will obviously bleed out there as well. Well, that is a real shame. There may have been a possibility that Fu could have held on for that little extra longer. A little bit extra longer. But there we are. Fu is dead. The colony is gone. Rose is dead. That's it. Everyone is dead or gone. The story is over. Perhaps someone else will find a use for the ruins of this place. Yeah, probably bug hives. Be typical. But, there we go. That is the final episode of the first season of RimWorld. Now, this has been a bit of a learning experience because it's been the first colony that I've actually had a chance to play to the end game stages. It's been quite enjoyable, and I'm glad that some of you have had, a ch had the chance to come along with me and um, come along for this roller coaster of uh, experiences. This colony has been quite something. I think it's one of the better colonies I've had, given the level of difficulty and just the sheer amount of insanity in this world. So, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I will be starting another RimWorld series, well, probably straight after this one. I'll be keeping to my schedule uh, as I um, outlined previously. So, if you have anything to say, please feel free to put it in the comments below. And I'll see you about in another video.